Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kelsey and this is Zero to Hero, where I teach you guys how we can all be gentler on Mother Earth in our everyday lives. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about natural deodorant. Um, as with all of these video types, um, I'm going to be talking to you about what natural deodorant is, why people are making a switch to it, and then I'll also talk to you guys about the particular product that I use. And if you guys stick around until the very very end, there's going to be a coupon code that you can use if you decide that you like the sound of the same product that I have been using for the last several weeks. So hang around for that. Alright, so what is natural deodorant? Uh, it's made up of a few different things. All the different varieties of brands are going to have some variety of these ingredients. The first one being a natural oil. So in a lot of homemade recipes for natural deodorant, that's coconut oil. On top of that, it's going to have some sort of powder, which is going to act um, as the absorbing factor for sweat. Um, the two main ones that I see a lot are baking soda, baking soda, not baking powder, and uh, arrowroot powder. And then the last ingredient is usually essential oils for two reasons. One is obviously for scent but then the other reason is also for an antiseptic effect. So a lot of essential oils are pretty good at killing bacteria. Now, the killing bacteria part is really important because your sweat itself does not smell. When you have BO, what's causing that is the bacteria on your skin um, sort of interacting with that sweat and creating odors. So if you kill those bacteria, then in theory you should have um, no odor to your sweat. Okay, so why make the switch? Why are people making the switch to natural deodorant? The number one reason is because um, almost every single drugstore or large brand type deodorant is actually a combination deodorant and antiperspirant. Um, and what that means is that a lot of those are using aluminum in order to plug up your pores to literally keep the sweat inside of your body. Um, I've looked into it and the jury is kind of out on whether or not this has any measurable negative effects on the body, but um, if you're like me, kind of have a philosophy of in whatever ways we can, try and let the body do its own thing that it was meant to do. So if you're someone like me who generally as much as possible likes to let your body do its own natural thing without interference, then switching to natural deodorant might be a good choice for you. Okay. Now, before I get into talking about the specific product that I've been using, I need to give you guys a little bit of information about myself. I have never been a particularly sweaty gal. usually stay pretty dry, even in really hot conditions. I may not be a sweaty woman, but I have always been a very spicy woman. And I do not mean spicy like your boyfriend's cologne, okay? If I don't do something to deal with it, I'm just somebody that has a lot of BO to deal with. It's especially a problem when I'm going through a really stressful time. That seems to make it a lot worse for me. Keeping all of that information in mind, this has been a game changer. Okay, This is the product that I have been using. I've been using this for the past several weeks, road testing it for you guys. Um, and honestly, this is hands down the best deodorant I have ever used, natural or otherwise. Now, I mentioned to you guys that my level of spice increases significantly if I'm under any kind of stress. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm in the middle of starting grad school and I'm doing it wearing this deodorant. And more than that, I ride my bike to campus every single day. So there has been plenty of time and opportunity for the juices to get going. This deodorant is by a much smaller company. They're called Civil... Sil <laughs> Silver Falls Sustainability Company. Say that five times fast. Um, and I don't know what they put in this, but it is straight up magic. Okay, um, the one that I got, I like really kind of earthy herbal scents to nobody's surprise. Um, the one that I have is Lavender Sage. Um, and I like the scent of it a lot. Um, but the thing about it is it's really, really lightly scented. Like you're not gonna be walking around perfumed. And so it's pretty clear that it's not just masking the scent of my natural spice. It is somehow completely canceling it out because I put this on and within about a half hour I can't really smell the lavender and the sage, which is fine by me. They have more strongly scented ones if that's something that you're into. But I also can't smell me. 
I don't smell essential oils, and I also don't smell my my earthy spice. Um, so whatever they're putting in here is doing a really, really good job. Whatever their formulation is, is doing a kick-ass job at killing all of the bacteria that are on my skin that are creating the natural scent that I normally have to deal with. It's just not there anymore. Once again, starting grad school, riding my bike everywhere. So it's the end of summer, it's plenty warm out, and nothing. This has been no issue. I'm, I haven't shaved my legs in six years, but for a long time I was still shaving under my arms. And there was really only one reason for that, because I found that I was still using, like, standard store brand deodorants at the time. I found that they didn't work nearly as well when I let my armpit hair grow up. It has not been an issue with this deodorant. I have been able to stop shaving completely without this. And that's not to say anything that you need to stop shaving or you should, but if that's also a concern for you, then this works. And if you're somebody who wants to continue shaving, it's just more evidence that this works. I cannot say enough times how well this stuff really works. Okay, so a couple things to note about this deodorant. Um, the first is that you don't need to use nearly as much of it. I think when we apply deodorant, um, when we're used to using the conventional stuff, you open it, you go swipe, 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 something like that, anywhere between like three to six swipes up and down. When I put this stuff on, um, it's just a little like dab, 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 dab. I use my fingers to rub it in. When I rub it in, it feels a little bit grainy, but it never feels grainy just when I'm wearing it. Um, I don't even notice it. Something else I want to point out to you guys is that it looks pretty small. And for comparison, here is my roommate's deodorant. Don't tell him. Um, this one looks huge. It looks like it absolutely dwarfs the size of this one, okay? Um, but if you look really closely, this one is 1.7 ounces of deodorant, and this one is 3.25 ounces of deodorant. So this is significantly more, even though this one um, looks a lot bigger. And I think that speaks to um, how seriously they take their packaging. They're always um, being minimal waste. None of the things they ship you, be it in a product, in the shipping, and the packaging, none of it is ever going to contain any plastic. So this is a lot more than it looks like it is. Guys, I'm so jazzed about this deodorant and this company that I actually kept the little package they sent in it because they put a handwritten note on the back. It says, Kelsey, thank you so much for your order. Together we can create a zero waste world. And then they signed it, Silver Falls Sustainability Company. So, I cannot say enough good things about this deodorant brand. I am not going to be going back to the store brand, not just because this is zero waste, zero plastic, um, natural deodorant, but it honestly just works way better than any other product that I've bought to do the same job before. If Lavender Sage isn't your jam, they have a lot of different scents that you can choose from. I think they have four. They definitely have at least three, but I think they have four different scents that you can choose from. Um, this is not the cheapest natural deodorant out there. I think this one cost me 12 bucks. It's either 12 or 13 bucks, okay? So yes, I know, you can get cheaper natural deodorant from several different brands that are much larger. However, this thing for me is absolutely worth every single penny. And plastic, if that's really important to you, this has none. Packaging has none, the product has none, and the shipping has none. Okay, so I think there are a lot of advantages. This is also going to last you a long time. According to the company, they get a lot of reviews back saying that this lasted people upwards of six months, and I can already tell because you don't have to apply that much that this is going to last me a really long time. So, if this sounds like something that you guys would be interested in trying, then good news. I contacted Silver Falls Sustainability and they were kind enough to give me a promo code that I could give to you guys, my lovely viewers. So um, I will include a link to Silver Falls Sustainability in the description. If you click on that link, um, pick up the deodorant and include the promo code uh, 02 hero, all lowercase, and the word two in the middle, 02 hero. Nope. Sorry, I said it wrong when I recorded it. It's zero hero, all caps. 
um, in the the promo code or coupon code box at checkout, you should get a little bit of a discount. Um, so let me know if you guys try it, let me know if you like it. As always, any comments, questions, suggestions for future videos, I do look at your comments and I will use them to sort of guide what I'm going to be researching for videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you next time.